We get a lot of questions asked about Google's Backup and Sync app and Google's File Stream app. So in this video I want to reveal some of the mysteries uh, pertaining to these two apps and some of the problems that many people have when using them. So uh, some people run them uh, simultaneously like you can see here. So this is Google Backup and Sync and this is Google File Stream. As you can see there's no activity right now because everything is synced and up to date. However, Google Backup and Sync is working and it's starting up. Also, running these two softwares together uh, creates a lot of uh, speed issues for a lot of people. So, for example, you can see right here, Backup and Sync is taking up over 100%. Right now, 98.8% of the CPU. Uh, if we look at the memory, um, it's, it's consuming quite a bit of memory, although not so much. But at times, it, it even peaks um, you know, to a gigabyte. So, um, we have uh, actually talked to Google support team uh, and, um, and they've cleared up some issues and answered some questions for us so we want to share that with you. Basically, the main advice they gave us was not to run these two applications at the same time um, unless you have different accounts. So if you're logged into different Google accounts then it makes sense but if you're using the same Google account and you're running these two softwares there's going to be issues and you will also get some warnings that they shouldn't be used together. So uh, basically what's the difference between the two softwares? Uh, Google's Backup and Sync has an actual folder on your drive. So if you go to your drive you can see here Google Drive. So, so this is where your Google Drive files are and where they're being synced to. So basically if you go here to preferences there's two things you can sync. You can sync things on your computer. As you can see, I'm syncing here a folder called Logins and another folder. And you can actually choose to sync folders within those folders. So you don't have to sync the, the root folder, which is great. Now you also have Google Drive here. So you can select exactly what you want to sync on Google Drive. And again, you can choose certain folders. You don't have to sync the whole thing. So it's very convenient in that sense. Uh, this replaced the old Google Drive uh, software. Uh, that's discontinued as of uh, 2018. So, uh, whenever um, Backup and Sync is running and you make any changes to this folder or files in it, it will sync that to your Google Drive. So these are available on Google Drive. Now say you unsync it and you uncheck this box here. It will no longer sync any changes that are done either on Google Drive or on your computer. However, the files will remain on your computer where they are and they will remain on Google Drive as they are. But the syncing will no longer take place. So if you no longer need those files, you can you know, delete them off your computer, delete them off Google Drive or leave it in one place or another and then you can always sync later. So with Backup and Sync, files actually live on your computer. They're stored there. Now, uh, going to Google File Stream, uh, it works totally different and it allows you to you know, have access to all your Google Drive files in a convenient way. So you can access them from here by clicking on the folder and you can see my drive here and all the files are in it. Or you can even put it on your desktop here and you can access your drive that way. So it's the same thing as going here and accessing it. You can do that from here and it's very convenient. You can quickly get to locations. Um, so it's a very, very useful tool. And also the brilliant thing about it is these files are not downloaded to your computer like they are with Backup and Sync which frees up the space on your computer. And you can work with these files. For example, you can make a whole folder available offline and then you can work on it without an internet connection. Uh, once you reconnect, that file will be synced to your Google Drive and vice versa. Uh, so many people ask, where are these files stored on my computer? How am I able to access them through this app? Basically, the way they're stored is in a file that you can access in your library, application support, and then find Google, and right here, Google FS file stream. As you can see, you cannot see any files here because they're stored in your cache, in your computer cache, and they're stored right here. However, you can't see them. Only Google file stream software can read them and can see them. So you can't really do anything here uh, useful. Basically how this works is that Google File Stream will cache the files that you use the most often so that they're up to date on your computer and the files that you don't use, they will not be caching them as often. 
Uh, now Google Support couldn't reveal to us the exact time frame. They said it just varies depending on how how much you use Google File Stream and the files on there. We've been told that you know if your Google File Stream software gets slow, that you can actually go here and delete this file. Before you do that, you wanna uh, shut off Google File Stream. So come here, go to Quit, and then you'll have a fresh install, pretty much, of Google File Stream, and Google File Stream will do its thing and uh, recache the files. So that was one advice they gave us. Another advice was to check the software version. So you can do that by going to About. And this is the latest version as of March 3rd, 2018. So that's good. And that pretty much sums up the main issues that you know we've had and that our customers have been complaining about. So hopefully that helps you understand the differences between the two software and simply just use either or. For example, uh, on our Macs, we use um, backup and sync because you know we have a lot of space on these desktops and we can download most of the files in our Google Drive to our computer. So everything's nice and synced. Now uh, on my laptop, which doesn't have as much space, I use Google File Stream because I don't have space on it. So I don't want to be preoccupying it with files from Google Drive, but I do need access to Google Drive from my desktop rather than going you know to Chrome and doing it through the browser. So this is a very, very useful tool for us and we can work with files offline uh, if we really need to. So it, allow, it gives us both features, you know, the features of Backup and Sync and this great feature which Google Backup and Sync doesn't give us. So hopefully this tutorial was useful and you learned something new. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you.